All right, today I'm working on this AC that's not cooling correctly. Let's turn it on. I have a 10 degree split inside. And I know I'm low on charge, so I'm gonna go over how to adjust sub cooling on an AC unit. We'll come into this space so I can set you up where you can see the iPad and what I'm actually doing to make adjustments. So I have this connected to a T, connected to my service valve. It's actually got a 90 off of it into a T, a swivel T. A cord tool also in the middle so I could have it on the outside because one of the things I dislike is having to always open this door to have to see in. So right now, as you can see, my return temp well, my return air is 82. Supply, 71. But we just turned it on. Suction line temp, 69. Subcool, 0.4. Liquid line, 94. It's about 85 degrees outside. So. But I'm not gaining much subcool yet. We'll let this run for two or three minutes and then I'll be back. All right, so some time has passed. As you can see, I still have no sub cool. Super heat is 31, suction is 68. My supply is 70 and my return is 81. So let's add some refrigerant. All right. So what you wanna do is you wanna add gas to make your sub cooling go up. Taking gas out will make your subcooling come down. Let's stop it here. Let's see what we may have done. The subcooling is still really low, but it's okay. I don't want to put too much in. So, as you can see, it didn't really move much yet. It's starting to rise though a little. 0.8. Now, every unit, the subcool is different. This unit right here is a two ton unit. Two ton unit, you're going to need subcool of four. So just make sure you're always checking out what you need. All right, so now. Subcool did not move. My superheat changed a little. My subcool has not changed yet. Neither has my indoor temp. Hasn't really been long enough, but I still need to gas it. So we're at liquid. I need to put more Freon in. Some freeze on. Let's get that subcool at least up to one before I stop adding. 0.6 very long line set seven eight seven five six we're gonna have to stop adding in a second because okay stop I'm gonna allow what's in there now to move through the system because we're at 0.8 now. Like I said, it's a very far line, so I don't want to overcharge it. What I added here could actually shoot it up over four. But let's give it a minute to move through the system. See, we're at one now. It's right where I wanted it. One, two, one, three. So when you're adding, you want to add, but you don't want to shoot it too much. Two. Two, three. Let's check the indoor temp. That has not changed yet. We're at 70 degree supply, 81 return. So we're still having gone, it's getting a little colder now. Well, it's not like it's that big of a difference yet. It's still like 10, 11 degrees. So, subcools 27. It's a lot closer to what I need. T 
28. So got to give it a minute. Now outdoor temp. What do we have? 83.4. I'm going to put 84 in just. I got 84. Okay. Ding. 2.4. So I'm still going to have to add a little more. 2.3. But we'll see. 82 is return. 71 is supply. So right now we do have an 11 degree split. It's gonna take a couple minutes for that to really change. Coil's gotta get colder. My sub cool's down to 0.9. So I'm not adding anything because it is a far run from here up. And I just wanna let it stabilize, which could take five to 10 minutes sometimes. But we're at 1.6. So, one seven, two four, two seven. Superheat's at twenty. Suction line's fifty nine. Subcool is actually now three, three two. Ah, I think I might have almost a perfect charge. Let's put it down for a sec. I apologize if there's like a wicked glare. Cancel. Let's see. How can I set it up so there's no glare? I can't cancel, but sub cool is three. All right, now let's see indoor split. Still though, hasn't improved. So I haven't improved it yet. All right, waiting for that to change. Sub cools at two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick squirt. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. Hike. Okay. Let's see what that does now. It does have really warm air coming into the unit. Oh. We're not past 10 anymore. We're not past 11 anymore. We're one decimal point behind. Not like it matters. It's gonna go. It's gonna drop. Subcool's 2.4. Superheat's 19. So my pressures are looking pretty good. I have to get the four plus minus one. So three is good. Five is even good. What I noticed was before I set everything up out here, my split of my unit was the first thing I noticed. I'm here doing a maintenance. Not maintenance is I always run into something. I don't like to, but it happens. Especially when a lot of the house I work in has a lot of stuff going on inside. But still waiting for the indoor to change a little my coils getting close to that sub cool now if I give it another shot I'm probably gonna overshoot that and end up at five but that's okay maybe then it'll affect what's going through the unit because my supply temp has not dropped at all and I would have figured it would have came down a little bit at this point. It's like, nah, I'm not moving, man. I'm not moving. Oh, let's see. I'll give that a minute. We're 2, 9, 18, 9, so about 19 degrees, almost 3 sub cool. Okay, now we're moving a little on the supply. Supply's starting to cool off. I mean, it's gonna take a few minutes, but it's starting to cool off. So I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Another shot. One, two, three, four, off. At this point, I'm so close. At the beginning, when I had no subcool, yeah, I had to give it some gas or liquid, whatever you wanna call it. So now I'm riding four subcool, a little over but it'll settle back to four. 
or not. Oh no, supplies rising. But it'll start to drop. I know it, I have faith in it. Especially because right now I have four sub cool. So I'm gonna let it run for a couple minutes. I'm not gonna bore you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, unfortunately I came up. I can't find my light, must have dropped it. But there's oil in the pan. That's oil, that orangey stuff. So, this is leaking somewhere. I came up to see if my probe was in a bad spot. Shouldn't be. Oh, here you go, this is what I'm running now. 88 on my return. And 70 on the supply temp, almost 89. Now, my probe, I had it. It's hard to see, but I had this like that. And for whatever reason, this went real low. You can see it's dropping. So, it's not telling the true story this way. So I was reading 80 for a while, or 82, but it wasn't the true temp. Then all I had to do, I had it, see, 84, so, dropping. I don't know what's causing that, but then I took it and turned it like that. Now it's still going down. Ugh. Get it back to how it was. Boom. There. Just the way whatever was causing it to cool off my return sensor. Subcooling for seven. Superheat 19. Liquid line 92. Outdoors up to 85. That's good. So. I'm happy with this charge. As you can see, the return's gonna go back up to the 89. Gives me about an 18, 19 degree split. So, saying 17, my math is bad. But whatever it is, it is, it's good. Well, till next time. Hope you enjoyed this repair. I gots to go.